Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> Looking good, isn't it? Right, I want to talk to you uh, for a while about snap points because it's going to be one of the, the, the single biggest problems that you're going to encounter when you're working with these, uh, these bigger maps. And I think it's worth taking just a minute or two to just kind of explain what the problem is and some of the things you can do to get around it. And I have got a clever trick for you. Well, at least I think it's a clever trick. You could decide for yourselves. Right. What is the snap point issue? Okay. When you're working on higher terrain, um, and I mean this like generally, like when, when you're working on, on any part of the terrain which is higher, that's like away from sea level, you're going to start to have problems with plot points. For certain types of buildings, let me let me kind of explain a little bit more. So, let's look over here. Okay, now this terrain is is higher than sea level, and as it goes up here, it's getting there's actually a little slope up here, which is getting higher, right? And what you'll find is that some buildings you can plop and some buildings you can't, right? RCI, you'll find that you can plop RCI buildings like pretty much anywhere. Right, RCI doesn't have a problem, but when you start plopping the normal ploppable buildings, you'll start to have some issues. Now over here, right, water pumping station, right, that'll plop, right. Um, the larger the building, the easier you'll find it to get snap points, right. If I try this, I wonder whether this will give me snap points. Aha, see, smaller building, I'm not getting snap points for this. Right, and this works um, uh, with something like, um, uh, you know what? Let's let's plop a uh, a garbage dump, right? And I'm getting snap points. Uh, then it becomes kind of more difficult to find them when you move over here, All right? But if I go into here and I try and plop these little garbage trucks. I can't find any snap points at all. Okay, hmm, problem, big problem. But like I said, it 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 all depends on the terrain height and the size of the building. Okay, let me get rid of this, and you have to get rid of the building, but it'll leave these roads in. So you have to get remember to get rid of these little roads as well. The little tip there. Okay, so <clears throat> well, how the hell can we deal with this? Um, well, you've kind of just got to kind of work with what you've got. And, well, I need to just get rid of that. I find that annoying. Right, good. Okay. Um, and there are ways around it. So, like, we know that RCI can be plopped pretty much anywhere. Okay. So, when we're working on, on an area like this, where there's a lot of uh, at the higher terrain, then uh, we're going to primarily use RCI in in the kind of the remaining three quarters it's not a problem in your original map boundaries it's just outside but where you get like terrain like this where it's it's like really high right you're gonna have you're gonna have problems plopping anything right so if I try and plop a park a like um, uh, where's the plazas if I try and plop a Millennium Plaza up here right no chance. Absolutely no chance. So, like, how the hell am I going to futurize if I put RCI buildings up here? I've got no way to futurize them. Okay? Um, nightmare. Aha! -ha! Now, the more astute and observant among you will have noticed um, these little two bits of road and the fact that there was a park symbol over here. Oh, look! There's a Millennium Plaza, because <laughs> what? Like, because I was figure, I was trying to figure out, like, how the hell, like, I like, I can plot buildings up here, um, but I can't futurize them. So, it, ugh, like, that's no use to me. I need futurized buildings for this city. And I was thinking, well, you know what? I could do. Um, oh, maybe I could do like a Shinji Dai, um, like mountain village up here or something. Oh, I thought, yeah, because I don't need to futurize those. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, but I still need to put parks in for the wealth to keep these buildings happy. 
And I was like, oh man, I can't plot park, so I can't do that. So um, then I like had a bit of a think, and I came up with this solution. Okay, um, <laughs> you can put roads right underneath the terrain. Ooh, hang on, let me see if I can get the right camera angle. Look, you can put roads um, under the terrain, and then you can plop parks or or indeed anything on these roads. Yeah, and um, and that's how you can futurize. So now that I've got that park underneath there, right, this section of road, as you can see is futurized and I can plot buildings on here and they'll be futurized so that's how I get around that but not only can you use it for that you can use it for things like hmm you know I've got service buildings and pff, you know I kinda don't really want them to be visible well what the hell just make them invisible put them under the terrain so um, let's say oh garbage dump perfect example right I, like I don't want my garbage dump visible, right? Then, like maybe, and, and like, like you can't always do this because again, getting snap points isn't like a guaranteed thing. But sometimes you can uh, you can put buildings on these roads. Now, am I getting anything? Hang on. And sometimes camera angle can make a difference. So. It, it's some oh let, yeah ah, now I've got got my snap points there we go I I worried myself for a second there right so I can pl like plop this underneath here <laughs> and it is kind of a little bit difficult but if I zoom in oh 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 <laughs> oh no no I've lost track of where I was hang on let's try that again so click on it right then zoom in. Right, now I can see where I am. So now hopefully, uh, can, I, can I plop any of these? Oh, I'm struggling to plop garbage trucks. What about the incinerators? They're a bit bigger. Can I plop the incinerators? Oh. Let's try zooming out and try that again. Oh, man. Now, like I said, this is, you know, a, a pain. You know, it's it's finicky. Good word, isn't it? Finicky? Uh, too far from main building. Oh man! Right, it's something that you're gonna have to play around with a lot. But right, you can get this stuff to work. And like, it's one of those things. If you enjoy, ah, oh, how here you go. If you enjoy a bit of a challenge, right, this can actually be pretty cool. Right? If you don't enjoy a challenge, if you like simple, if you like dead easy, then um, then this could be, well, not could be, this will be a real pain in your ass, like no question. But there you go. So, so I've just put in a garbage dump, a couple of incinerators, huh. completely hidden, completely hidden. So I think um, we're going to be like trying to bury our services like our, uh, well, I'll try and put like the fire and the police and the garbage and all that stuff up here. Um, I'm probably going to end up doing that offline. Now the one thing you're probably saying, well how the hell did you put that road in like that? Well it's, it's dead simple. You just take a um, regional road, regional street, um, oh that's a Udon, didn't want a Udon. Just a regular regional street. Give me any density, any density, and then um, you. Whoops! I want a curved one. I'll do a little one. Do a little one under here, right? Put in a curved road, right? Now that's going up onto this terrain, right? But just press N to lower it, and boom, it goes flat, right? And that's now underneath the terrain, right? And so we can now use that and. If I do my little zooming in trick again under the terrain, then you can see. And you can, I mean, you can create like underground cities using this technique, which uh, which is very cool. Like there are limitations, guys. It's not a hundred percent perfect, but uh, we're gonna work with it. I mean, that's all we can do. The, I, I guess what I like about SimCity now is that it's a challenge. Uh, but it's a challenge that results in being able to produce things that are genuinely, you know, good looking. 
you know and like when you when you when you do something like this it's like there's a sense of achievement because it's not easy you really have to put some work and some thought into these things okay enough about that it's time to get on and um, start putting in some more buildings and stuff um, no oh, now before I do anything else right the the traffic on these sky bridges okay um, the the traffic itself will probably be okay right uh, in terms of like will everybody get to where they need to be within a 24-hour period yeah yeah it's like it should be but um, for service vehicles service vehicles vehicles are, are going to be stuck in traffic jams and uh, the last thing that we want is like yeah you know, fires you know the fire brigade not being able to get to fires um, the police not being able to get to, to crimes in time and stuff like that so um, I had I kind of had this idea um, in my back pocket and I think we're just gonna do it so m the idea was to hook up the mega towers to each other drop them down oh come on don't don't mess me around this should oh because I'm using regional this works better with um, with normal streets I have to say here we go hook that up and then drop it down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh come on what are you doing oh there we go I knew this worked right boom right so now we can get from there to there no problem and um, now all I gotta do is try and put the rest in uh, come on hook up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh come on oh there we go boom two more to do alrighty so there we go we've got um, now four nice tunnels in a nice big circle actually it's, it's, where are they where are they there there yeah so we've got like a circle of tunnels so everything should be able to get around um, underground as well as using the the sky bridges and I think the tunnels will probably be the the preferred route for a lot of the traffic which means that the service vehicles coming in um, should have a fairly easy time with these um, sky bridges but you know what we'll find out right okay I um, I want to put in some changes to these buildings uh, I want to like shuffle them all up and get them tighter so that we get five on a side which I think looks better than the four on a side and uh, then I'm gonna put the roads around the outside and I'm gonna put in these um, these low density buildings and uh, I know a lot of you like a bit of a time-lapse so um, here you go here's a bit of a time-lapse
Okay, so that's all of the um, the, the the building changes that I want to do. I'm not changing um, these buildings because I kind of like how this is right now, so I'm not going to change that. And um, and I haven't put in any um, low density buildings around the eco area because I'm kind of thinking about doing something different around that one. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. Um, and while I think about it, I'm going to demolish this, um, this, <laughs> this garbage dump. That was the word I was looking for. Can, uh, ah, ah, it's sometimes difficult to, like, find where it is. Come here. Oh, man, come here. There it is. Goodbye. And then remember to take out the little roads that he puts in as well. Cool. Okay, so we got rid of that. Alrighty. Oh, okay. So um, I guess now we just need to watch it build. Cool. Let's do it. Okay, and there we go. There it is. Oh, I kind of like that, guys. Now, I've used the, the, the same building around um, the, uh, the admin and military and the commerce. Now, like, like, by the time we get to the end of the build, will that have changed? Who knows? It's possible. It's possible. Now, I've used these grey buildings over here um, which I think gives it a very different look and keeps that kind of grey feel to the to the technology which I kind of like and I'm sure some people will say you know it's got kind of a it's got kind of a military feel to it with all that greyness and you know what yeah I wouldn't argue with you to be honest there's a there's a str I think there's a strong aesthetic argument to say that this looks kind of like the military thing, but it's not. It isn't. That's the technologists. That's kind of the way they are. All walk around wearing these grey overalls. Very boring people. Alrighty. So there you go. That's the that's the technology. And um, like I said, I'm going to do something different over on the eco. Oh, you know what? Before I before I forget. Because otherwise I'll get 15 posts going, Sky, you forgot to put that tunnel back in. <laughs> I know you were thinking about it, weren't you? You were thinking about getting on the comments straight away. Oh, you forgot to put that tunnel back in. Right, there we go. Let's put this tunnel back in. Assuming I can. There we go. See, like uh, it's weird how things, think things don't fit. Then you put them in again and they fit. Weird. Very weird. Oh, but I'm kind. I I like how the commerce looks with the, all the same building. I don't know about the eco. Now that I've put them all in and all in the same, I'm kind of not sure. I might have to tinker around and um, kind of nail down the look that I want. Although I have to say, you know what? That that commercial building. Now that I've put all these in the same looks better than it did you know what let's just um, let's just have this running on slow so stuff's moving around let's get a get a slightly better look when it's actually animated cool all righty well you know what now i guess it's time to move on to some of these outlying areas we need to put away our services and and start building outside of our original map boundaries <laughs> 